A girl was in the bathroom of her house and meanwhile, she was crying and fixing the clothes she was wearing. At that moment, her mother knocks on the door and asks her to open the door. The girl doesn't answer and continues to pack her clothes and then her mother tells her that she was going to be late for her party. She then says that she was already finishing getting ready. The woman then says that she was going to go into the bathroom and so she does. She still doesn't tell her daughter that she should hurry as they were already late and then help the girl with her dress. She then says that her daughter looked very pretty and that they should leave. The woman then tells her daughter that she was gaining a lot of weight because that dress was too tight for her. The girl then says that there she just should have put on some weight. The woman then tells her daughter that she should take care of herself as she is still very young. They then go to the party and the girl's father was waiting for her there. The woman then tells her husband that their daughter was very beautiful. At this time, a friend of the girl arrives and congratulates her on her birthday. She then says that she had brought the girl a gift and opens the box for her. The other woman then says that her friend had told her that she was going to have a child and so she bought it. At that moment, the girl's mother asks what was going on there and then the girl slaps her friend across the face, saying that she had screwed up. She then tells her friend to leave, then her friend leaves. The woman then asks her daughter what was going on there, but the girl says that her friend was just playing and that it was her joke. The girl's father then asks her to stop lying and tell them the truth. The woman then says that now she was understanding what was going on there, as that was the reason the girl's dress was tight. Her father then tells her that she should tell them the truth, and then the woman starts crying, saying that she had always done everything for her daughter. At that moment, a man goes up to him, he is told that he was the father of the child. He says that if the girl's father had something to talk about, he could talk to him, as the girl was not to blame for anything. The girl's father then says that he couldn't believe that she got pregnant by his employee, as he was very poor and couldn't support her and neither could her child. The man then says that he would start working there that he would be a great lawyer. He says that this way he could support the girl and their children. The girl's father then says that it was impossible, because he was a poor person who would not be able to support anyone. He says that the man should think better of it, as he would not be able to support his son. The girl tells her father to stop that, as she loved the man, but at this point, her mother tells her that she should respect her father and then slaps her daughter across the face. The girl then starts to cry and her mother says that she couldn't believe her daughter was doing that as she had a bright future ahead of her. She then says that her daughter was making her really mad and then she goes after the girl. At this time, another woman goes up to them and tells the woman to stop it. She says that was the woman's daughter and that she shouldn't do that to her, but the woman says that she didn't want the other woman to tell her what she should do. She then says that it was the other woman's fault, because she should have told her what her brother was doing. The girl then says that she didn't need her mother to look for someone to blame, because it was all her fault and that she was going to have that child. The woman then becomes enraged with her daughter and tells them to get out of there. At this point, the man tells his wife that it was her fault. The man says that if she had taught her daughter right, she wouldn't be going through that situation right now. The woman then says that she was not the only one to blame for that situation, because the man was also to blame and that he should have raised his daughter better, but the man says that she should have taught their daughter what life was really like. The woman then says that he was also to blame for that, as he as a father should have taught the girl about life. The man then says that he was not to blame for that, as the woman had only one obligation, which was to take care of their daughter. He says that he had a lot of obligations and that he always had to be working to be able to earn money for his family, but that his wife should have played her role better and educated their daughter, but she didn't. The woman then tells her husband to stop trying to place the blame on her, as it is now too late for that. She then says that they should think of something so they can resolve the situation. 
The man then says he had an idea and says he was going to do what his wife had never done. She then tells him that he couldn't talk to her like that, because she always did her best to try to educate her daughter. She then tries to slap the man across the face, but he stops her and tells her that she couldn't do that to him and that she should respect him. Some time passes and the man was wondering why his daughter had done that. He then says that his daughter was very beautiful and that she couldn't have that child at that age. He said it was wrong, but at this point he says he had an idea of what to do. Later, when the girl was going down the stairs, the man goes after her and pushes her down the stairs. She then falls and starts calling for help. Some time passes and another man was in the hospital, very worried about what was happening. At that moment, the girl's parents arrive and her mother asks what he was doing there. She then says that it was his fault, that if something happened to his daughter, he would regret it. He then says that this was not the time for them to fight, because what they should be worried about at that moment was the girl's health. The girl's father then asks what he was talking about, and then he says that all they should have worried about was whether the girl was okay or not. At that moment, a doctor goes to him, if he tells them to accompany the man then he asks the doctor if the girl was okay. The girl's mother then starts crying and asks the doctor if her daughter is okay. The doctor then says that the girl's case was very complicated and that they would need to make a choice. They are then surprised by that and the man asks what that choice would be. The doctor then says that, as her case was very complicated, they would have to choose between the girl's life or her son. This makes them very sad. The man then says that it was too complicated for him to choose and then asks the doctor if he really needed to choose. The girl's father then says that, despite that being a very difficult choice, he would have to choose his daughter's life, but the man says that he couldn't accept that, because they needed to save his daughter too. The girl's father then tells him that he should be quiet as he needed his daughter saved. The doctor then says that they needed to choose soon. The girl's mother then says that they had already decided and that her daughter's life would be saved. The doctor then thanks them and then says that she would get in touch with them shortly and so they leave. Some time passes there, the doctor tells them to go into the room. They then go up to the girl and the girl greets her family members and her boyfriend. The man then goes to the girl and says he is very happy that she is safe and her daughter too. The girl's mother then goes to her daughter and tells her that she is sorry for the way she had treated her daughter. She says she was very rude to her daughter, but the girl says she understood, as she had been a disappointment to her mother. The girl's mother then says that she was wrong, because she was always the pride of her life. She then goes to her granddaughter and says that her granddaughter was very beautiful at this time. The girl's father goes to her and says that he was sorry for the way he had treated his daughter. The girl then says that her father shouldn't worry about that, because she knew that her father loved her and that all she wanted now was for her family to be together. The man then says that his daughter was the greatest gift he had received and that now God had sent another gift that was his granddaughter. He then tells his daughter that he would take care of her and her daughter forever. The girl then thanks her father, and then her father goes to his granddaughter saying that she was very beautiful. They then hug and the man says that now their family was together.